Hello again, Internet. Um, I've had a bad day today. Um, just not managing. Everybody telling me that I need, I personally need to ring Joanna McMorrow, who's the manager of Sensory and Disability Services in Sligo, and stay on the phone and tell her how hard this is. Um, I haven't yet had the energy, the spoons, the mental fortitude to ring my psychotherapist and ask him to send a letter to Joanna McMorrow explaining how this lack of support is damaging my mental health. That's the kind of bind I'm in and it's, it's a version of the kind of bind that all kinds of people with chronic conditions are in. You know, our chronic condition is depriving us of the means, the energy to actually get the supports that we need for managing our chronic conditions. Um, so I had a visit today from the community nurse who says that my surgery wound is healing very well, which is great. But I was saying to her that I wasn't managing and she said, you have to ring Joanna McMorrow and I explained how it took a week of nurses calling many times a day before she even gave her response of no, you're not getting any extra hours despite what I said in a management meeting a few months ago. Um, and so I was very upset and after the visit from the nurse I emailed the manager of the local service provider, LAPWD, who actually manage the, the PA service and they're a centre for independent living. And I emailed her and I said, look, I'm not managing. This is my fourth day at home with two hours per day. I can't last 14 before there's a review because that's what Joanna McMorrow said, that it would be reviewed after two weeks. And that's despite the fact that you would assume the first two weeks after coming home from hospital would be harder and require more support than the f subsequent time. And my suspicion is that it will simply be an excuse to say, well, you're on the road to recovery now, you don't need more support. Um, but as the, as, the, as the community nurse said, you know, if I don't get that support, I'm going to end up back in hospital. And at this point, it might well be a a psychiatric ward because this is just absolutely destroying me. Um, I've had managed clinical depression since I hit puberty. Um, it's been successfully managed with therapies, with medication. I haven't had any kind of a breakdown for a good 15 years or so. Um, and if I hadn't had the support to manage that prior to developing chronic pain, I don't think I would have survived the chronic pain. I don't think I would be here now. I think that would have killed me. Um, of course, my, my friends have also been part of why I'm still here. But at the moment, you know, even talking to my friends is proving too much energy drain sending a text message take like brings me out in a sweat i've got a headache now um i'm not coping i mean for those of you who really care and i know you do i'm not at risk of harming myself but i'm just finding this really 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 exhausting and difficult and i don't think it's doing me any good at all i don't think it's helping in my post-surgery recovery it's not going to help if i can't get to my physio for the physio recovery because i'm so exhausted after having gotten myself a cup of tea or gone to the toilet i mean seriously so that's where i'm at tonight um, I, I can't 
keep doing this. So, you know, thanks for keeping watching. I know there's a lot of people out there who love me and support me and would like to do whatever they can to help, but I don't know what they can do to help. I need the PA support. Okay. Good night, Internet.